Hi guys, Megan here with ReachRite. Um, we're going to walk through how to put events on your ReachRite website's calendar. Um, so we're looking at this website here today. Um, currently, uh, we've got just one event here um, that's been created. So just so you guys can see what an event looks like. So when there's nothing going on, there's nothing on the calendar. If there is an event, um, you'll see that uh, blue dot. And so this shows us we've got one event here. So let's go take a look at what an event looks like. So you can have a photo in here, which is a great idea to have. You've got your um, event title. This is your event content. So you can put as much or as little information that you have about your event here. Um, this has got a countdown module here. Um, you've got your date of the event, um, the time, location, um, the category of the event, and you can put an organizer if somebody needed to be contacted um, for a special event or whatever. And then it'll also show you the next event. So if this is recurring, if it happens more than once, it'll show you, hey, the next time this event happens is February 29th. And then you've also got the share module. So somebody can post this to their social media account um, or send it in an email. So pretty convenient there. So um, let's go make another one. So we're going to go up here to new. Once you've logged into your um, website, you'll have a black bar up here. We're going to go to new event. And so um, this is where we're going to add um, that event title. So let's do, some of you guys will want to add your Sunday service on your calendar and others don't. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you a good recurring event. So obviously this happens every Sunday as in some of the other events you will be making are a one-off or um, happen pretty rarely or maybe just occasionally. So we'll do Like I said, you can add as much um, information here as you want. Um, obviously, the more information you have, the better. Um, as you scroll down, this is where we get our event details. So we have all of this information that we need to put in here. So obviously, your time and date. We're going to do Sunday. And let's just say church is going to start at 9 a.m. And ends at 10, oh, 45. End date will be the same as the start date, so don't forget to put that if it's just um, if it's not a multi-day event, uh, make sure you do put that it ends on the same day. OK, you do have the option for certain events. If you need them to show that they're all day, um, you can hide the event time completely or just hide the end time if you're not sure when something is going to end. Um, now, if this event is repeating, we're going to go to here. Um, we're just going to check this box. Yes, it repeats. This is where it asks you how often is this event repeating? So um, mine is obviously every Sunday. Um, there's been some bugs occasionally with uh, this calendar system. So to save yourself from any hassle later, instead of saying it happens weekly, I like to do the um, certain weekdays and then we're just gonna choose it happens every Sunday, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you the other options of your recurring events that you have. Obviously you have daily, um, every weekday and every weekend, this means that it's both Saturday and Sunday. So obviously if it's every weekday, that's Monday through Friday. So maybe something like your VBS or, um, you know, a prayer, a prayer week thing that you've got going on every weekday includes Monday through Friday. So that's why the certain weekdays you can just do, it happens every Sunday. Um, if you've got a, you know, grief share, it might be every Wednesday, something like that. Um, obviously you have your, I would skip the weekly. So then we've got your monthly events, which are really on the, on the same day of every month, obviously your yearly events, maybe that's a finance meeting or something. Um, your custom days, that's just a way for you to say if it is, um, if you literally need to go in here and choose specific days that something is happening. Um, you can go in here, add the day, it's going to end on the same day, and then you can add a, add a, the next time. Okay. Um, and then your advanced days, this is if something is, you know, the third Thursday of every month, um, this is an easy way to do that as well. So that is that. I'm going to go back to my certain weekdays on Sundays. So obviously my Sunday service never ends. So we're going to leave this on as never. But if this was something like a life group that is a uh, 12 weeks long, um, something like that, you can obviously put that it ends after 10 episodes 
or it, it ends on a certain date. Okay. All right. So if you have, um, there's other tabs over here we can go into. So hourly schedule, this would be like for a conference. If you wanted to list out, um, what's happening on your hourly schedule, you've got that option here. Um, your location. Um, this is obviously good. Um, I'm just going to pick here. We'll pretend like that's my church address. Um, but if you if you're having an event that's maybe not located at the church, obviously that's needed information. You're just going to go to insert a new lo location where you can type in um, the location name, whether it's, you know, the Starbucks on the corner for your men's breakfast or whatever. Um, you'll add in the location address here, um, save that. And then that way, next time you come in, you'll have your location saved. OK, this just obviously gives the address to your event, which is needed. Um, on here for your links, this is going to be if if you're um, outsourcing to like Eventbrite or Planning Center, if someone's needing to RSVP, you would add that event here where somebody could go pay and register. Um, for your organizer, this is really for, um, you know, if you want to add a new organizer, this is so if, if somebody's needing more information on an event, this will bring up the person's name. Um, you can give an email address and phone number in case they needed to contact you if they had questions about your event um, or if it's like a life group or something like that. You can add a new organizer here, name, phone number, address. If your event costs, um, this is where you can let somebody know how much that is. Um, they cannot take payment through um, your event, but you can at least let them know how much that is. Um, here over here, we're going to do a featured event. If you don't uh, have graphics, um, it's a good idea. You can just use stock photos, um, but the graphics are going to just make your event look a little nicer and it makes sharing on Facebook and Instagram a little nicer. Um, so obviously just clicking that you're going to be taken to your media library where you can either again grab from the library or upload from your computer. We're going to set that as my featured image. Um, this event I just kind of categorized as church wide. Um, using your categories is important so that somebody on your um, calendar can, if they're looking for something specific, whether it's youth events, um, they can just choose the category that they're looking for and it only will show events for that specific category rather than your um, whole church calendar. So um, events or categories you can stick over here. You would just add a new one. Um, so youth, uh, children, family friendly, things like that. Um, use your categories as you see fit for your needs. And then we'll just update our event here to save it. And let's go view that post and make sure that we don't need to uh, change anything. So here's my featured image. Um, here is your uh, event title, your event content that we added in here as well. And then all of our event information is here. Um, event date, time, there's your category. Um, this also has the next occurrence. So this is going to tell me that, hey, this the next time this occurs is February 2nd. And it's got your countdown module here and your share event. So I can Facebook, Twitter, and email this out if I wanted to for convenience. So now let's go look at that on the calendar. And then we'll see that here it is on the 26th Sunday service. And then obviously it's showing up every Sunday um, with my blue dot. So there are our events, and this is uh, just a quick tutorial on how to do an event. Hope that helped you guys out.